Well, here we are. It's July the second, so we're in the month of July now. Isn't that great, everybody? We're we're in July. I know, crazy times are ahead. As well, we look into the NAL this week again. Five teams left. Naturally, we're only going to have two games a week the rest of the way. Carolina beat West Texas 50-41. Carolina's in, so they're the third team in the postseason in the NAL. One spot left to be claimed as far as the postseason goes. You know, it's either going to be Orlando or West Texas. The race for you know the t- teams hosting playoff games, that's still be determined right now. And you know, San Antonio, they got whooped by Orlando, did play like a playoff team, and now Orlando, they don't have they don't have Fayetteville in front of them, they don't have Albany behind them anymore. It's just West Texas behind them. So now they're getting hot at the right time. They're they're playing good football at the right time. You know, playing some good football at the right time. Orlando got three games left. So it's gonna be interesting to see. How this all goes down the final month of the NAL season because remember, NAL ends their regular season on July the 29th. So it's going to be really intriguing to see how this ends up with the top three. At least, you know, I don't know if West Texas is going to be able to cover enough ground to be able to catch Orlando. So I really think our, our playoff field is mostly set. Now that skill could change. Seeding for the top three. Eh, still kind of wishy-wonky right now. So, you know, it is what it is there. Um, the Oh, no, I went way too far out in front. Hold the phone. Give me a second. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. There we go. Okay. I was like, wait, what happened? Oh, here we go. IFL. Let's get into the IFL real quick. Let me move myself up a little bit. So, Billy back. He's left Frisco. Personal reasons. Um, a lot of speculation on those reasons, but he's gone. Andre Coles took over, and it didn't really matter. Frisco was just too much for Sioux Falls. 56-15 there. IFL Hall of Fame class has been announced. Parker Douglas, Zazami Jackson, Tyler Knight, all three tremendous players, and they will get they will get their due diligence on the night before the IFL championship. Ray Bay, you know, they were able to take advantage of Sioux Falls, you know, losing. Tulsa decided to be incompetent again because, you know, the Oilers just continue to find ways to lose games, you know. Thriller out there in Tulsa. Vegas winning was not in the cards. Tucson wanted to lock a playoff spot last night. They could not. And late in that game, Vegas was able to get a touchdown and win against the Sugar Skulls. And now, you know, the game that just ended, the Massachusetts-Arizona game, had several Pirates players get ejected after fan heckled one player and then you know chaos broke loose at the end with like 30 seconds left in the game like just unwarranted frisco home field throughout the east so they will host if they were to get that far they would be able to host two playoff games before the ifl championship out in vegas so again not much has changed it's still same old same old in the ifl And, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Two weeks left. A lot of teams have played either 13 or 14 games. So a lot of teams have one game left or two. So things are changing around here. And the AWFC, the Idaho Horsemen, have defeated the Oregon High Desert Storm 42-20, the fourth AWFC Bowl, to capture their second AWFC championship. 
In the AL2, because I forgot to talk about it the last couple weeks, the four teams that made it to the postseason, Steel City Sampede, the Maryland Eagles, the Jersey Bearcats, and the Georgia Line Lions. Now, Jersey beat Georgia Line 47 to 47-14. Steel City beat Maryland 54-32. Both those games were on June the 24th. Next Saturday, it'll be Jersey taking on Steel City, the AL2 title. The Houston Maulers actually got kicked out of the AL2, uh, which is wild. And the Cali Golders still in the AL, I guess, even though I don't think they played a single AL team. But, you know, it's fine this year. And then the TAL, well, I told you I was going to talk about them. I told you. So the water bill, woo, like Ric Flair. They're the water bill, woo. Um, the Ozarks Lunkers, they're the team in Springfield, Missouri. And we'll find out what the team names for the Kansas City team and the Duluth team. We'll find that out later on. And some others real quick. You know, the Ohio Blitz, they're posting tryouts with another team called the Ohio Boom. Those tryouts will be in August and September. The Dallas Falcons, like like I said, and like you know, like they confirmed it. They confirmed it officially um, a couple days ago or yesterday. I forgot when I saw the post. But they have finished up their season with the one game played. Remember, they played one game that counted against the Columbus Lions. They're going to prep for 2024 out in Sulphur Springs. At Peach State, they beat the brakes off the Alabama Empire and proclaimed themselves the I-85 champions. Uh, Peach State, congrats. Hope y'all get an actual arena, you know, for the future and everything like that. So, you know, just... Get, 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 you know, get, get, get something for the future. Now, it's time. It's, it's about that time. Indoor Football Insider. Indoor Football Insider is 24-7. Whoever's running that page. Look at all of this nonsense. Look at this. this look at this stuff. But I, he's been the lead posts. He's been the lead some of these posts. But I was able to grab all these screenshots last night, and I got to tell you, just look at this ridiculousness. Look at some of this ridiculousness, like the NAL staff prepping and packing things up, team offices closing after the week's games. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. You know, the AFL, again, we haven't heard anything about AFL 3.0, you know, in like three months. So who cares about the AFL right now? There's no way. There's really, there's really no reason to post all this. No reason. There's no reason for all this. Look at all this. Look at, just look at all of this. I mean... Do you see all this? No sources, no verified sources. Coaches are, are, you know, disputing. Players are disputing. People who are actual sources, you know, are disputing. You know, you're limiting comments on pages. You're you're you're, you're removing comments. You block me on. YouTube and everything like that because you got mad because I called you out in the chats and everything like that. Just delete your page at this point. I, I'm, I'm sick of it. No, 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 no. We're we not doing this. The sport does not get enough respect for stuff like this to be posted. Now, I know I'm not the greatest at, do, at doing this. I've been doing this for three seasons now. I came back into the arena football fandom three years ago. I've tried, to, I've tried to help elevate the sport. There are other people trying to help elevate the sport to a respectable level again, to where we can get, you know, back to peak AFL on NBC days. But we're not at that point right now because of stuff like this. And I'm sick of it. This shit is disgusting. 
He's deleted most of these posts now, but I have the proof. I have the receipts right here. They're all right here, and I'm sick of it. Now I know, I know he's, uh, I know one guy that's presumed to be running that page is appearing, you know, on a certain Fred show next weekend, and I'm gonna try and see if I can get on that, you know, myself because I, I, I'm just sick of this. <laughs> And there have been bad sources, you know, running around, you know, doing their thing for years in this sport. You know, the people that actually work hard and, you know, do their due diligence, you know, sometimes I find stuff first, you know, and it's through no act of my no act of my own, you know. Like sometimes I'll actually call something to be true, you know. It's just a stroke of luck. But this this, you have to be kidding me. You have to be fucking kidding me at this point. What the fuck is this? I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you all next Monday. Because, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. No, but this nonsense. If you're going to say you're a premier source in the industry cite your sources you know get some proof get some verifiable information get something don't be making stuff like this up just just don't i, I can't look at all this is ridiculous look at this fayetteville's dead how are they gonna join the ifl man I, I'm, I'm 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 disgusted i'm disgusted with all this like I said, I'll see you all next Monday. I, 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 I'm too angry right now.